Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Prendergast. I'm here to tell you a little bit about myself, but more about something called L-arginine. It's something that I have been very interested in, and I have benefited greatly from that interest. We have something that has won a medical Nobel Prize. It's really astounding. But first, let me just go back and tell you a little bit about myself. I am an endocrinologist. I am board certified in that and internal medicine. I've been uh, fortunate enough to receive a couple other degrees beyond the MD, FACP, which is internal medicine, and FAACE, which is fellow of the American College of Endocrinology. Started in practice in 1970, and here I go having more fun now than I've ever had in my life, making people well. I was so surprised when I entered medicine to really understand that if you didn't have just an appendix to remove or something that penicillin would do something for, you really were in the coping business. And that's what most physicians do. Through a certain bad habit that I have of chasing down various parts of things, symptoms that might not be right, I learned through a CAT scan of my abdomen that I had the arteries inside me of an 80-year-old man. I was 37 years old at the time. I was really astounded and really frightened because my father had his first stroke at 42 and after that was unable to work for the rest of his life and died in his uh, early 50s. So I was following in his footsteps, and I thought, this is something I really don't want to do. So as I began to search throughout all kinds of medicine, all kinds of other places where old medicine would be, I stumbled onto the group that I began to work with at Stanford. This is Stanford Clinical uh, Research. This is Stanford Cardiovascular Research Department. And two giants in the world were there to help me and lead me on. One was Victor Zhao, who's now chairman of all of Duke University's uh, medical system. And one is the present chairman of that Department of Cardiovascular Research, John Cook. In all the research they were doing, I learned that they could reverse atherosclerosis and did so in many small studies, making people who are eligible for surgery no longer eligible. I was startled by this and put it into play for myself immediately and also all the patients that I've cared for for a long period of time. It was so exciting, I must say. I had no idea, however, that I was really going to reverse it. All I knew is it was going to stop. When the Nobel Prize in Medicine in 1998 was given to three physicians who had done all the basic research on this, I said, this is really something. This is going to go a long distance. But for reasons I really don't understand yet, it has remained relatively quiet, so important, so well honored, so well pursued by other individuals doing other clinical research using these principles, I just don't understand. But that's okay. I've benefited from the whole thing. And in about 2000, I had another little stomach thing, and I said I should have it looked at, and I did. And it was found I had no further hardening of the arteries, no atherosclerosis. I couldn't believe it. Then the person who read the first one also read the second one. And he looked at it, first the old one, then the new, back and forth, and then said, how did you do this? This is incredible. I never thought for a moment we could actually reverse this. But we did, and I did, and then checked it with a heart scan. No atherosclerosis at all. So this has been my life. This has been my pursuit. This has been my uh, greatest thrill to be the, the person who can turn around hardening the arteries in all my patients and in myself. I've just had a wonderful time with this. And as I've gone through this, actually, as you begin to realize, uh, the buck doesn't stop here. It goes on and on because there's more things that we can add, more other natural ingredients that we can use to make things better for everybody. 
It is really astounding. As I've gotten better and better in doing this, I find that I ran through a lot of companies. I could then detect with the, the equipment that they use in cardiovascular research at Stanford, who was doing well. And if they weren't doing well, it would be very likely they were not getting a good arginine source, the most important thing. And so with this, I've worked with several companies, most recently four more. Four more is a company in the middle of uh, Arkansas, they, they are not far from Little Rock, about 30 miles, and they really have a passion for doing it right. So I've been able to work with them and pursue improving all of the things that they had put together, all of the parcels that are in what is now called the cardio cocktail, so that we've got the best thing that can reverse atherosclerosis that I've ever seen. So I really have liked this, it's changed my life. We have had now since about 1991, virtually nobody's had any cardiovascular disease. We have had an occasional person go into a cardiology office, have a few tests, ends up with a stent, but not more than one every two years. So that's about a half percent of the people who come in. A dramatic change from what I used to envision, 30% of all my people used to go to see a cardiologist. We deal in only high-risk situations, diabetes in particular, and we did very well, I thought, but we do magnificently now. It is a major coup to be able to be with what I'm doing today. So I wanted to tell you about all these things, tell you the possibility that anybody else can do what I did. It is not hard. It doesn't even need a prescription, and it is something you can do the rest of your life. I just love it, and I'm sure you would too. It's your time. Thank you very much.